You're seeing the world's largest functioning musical instrument. Some 28,500 pipes uh, are in this organ. The ones you see, in interestingly enough, uh, don't actually play. The facades of this very, very famous instrument are, are not speaking. They're just there for show. The pipes are behind the walls. Uh, I, hi, I'm Peter Richard Conti. Uh, my title is Wanamaker Grand Court Organist at Macy's. And this console that you're seeing right now is just the control panel. It looks like a cockpit of a large aircraft. And uh, these are the keyboards, much like piano keyboards. Um, we have six of them because there's so many different voices to control. Each one of these keyboards controls a different family or a division of pipes, they're called. Um, and then to my right and left of the keyboards are the actual stops, the voices. And there are three symphony orchestras worth of voices. We call the voices on the organ a rank. And this organ has 469 ranks, or players, if you will. The organists are, are part octopus, and uh, the pedal board is the equivalent of the, the bass end of the orchestra. It's played by the feet. Back when I first started here, in my early part of my tenure, the organ was pretty much dead, if you can believe it. Um, most of it just didn't function. Macy's came in, and within just a few years, the organ went from hardly playable to now it's 100% playable. Oh, the organ's turning on. The first thing that turned on was the DC power supply to give the power to the organ. You can see all the pilot lights lit. So that's putting out 13 volts for the instrument. And then the next thing that happens is that uh, the eight blowers throughout the building turn on slowly one after the other so we don't take too much current at once. And you can hear the organ coming to life. The, the air is, uh, goes through a, a bellows, which is like a diaphragm regulator, and that controls the final pressure that goes inside the chest. There we go. And then you have a pneumatic under this note that uh, opens and closes and allows the air to come in here when it's called for. So in many cases you have three pneumatics per note that have to be maintained and rebuilt. This is where the signals for the orchestral uh, come upstairs and then are distributed into the chamber. This has reeds. You'll see there's all kinds of different shaped resonators for all the reeds in this chamber. You can see the shutters that let the sound out. You can see them opening and closing as he's playing. Macy's gets the fact that this is an international icon um, and uh, it's a Philadelphia treasure as well. And Macy's understands that and they have really poured their resources into it and it's a it's a wonderful thing. The organ is in the best shape of its life.